Okay, today I'm going to talk to you about making clay rattles. I have a bunch of examples here of different clay rattles. These are all smaller ones with large patterns carved into them. When you pick them up and shake them, you can hear different rattling sounds. And you can see the deep impressions that are carved into these uh, to make them interesting. This one hasn't been painted or glazed yet. This one here, a little bit larger, has a lot of rattles inside, it makes a good sound. This one here, again, a little bit larger. You can tell that the rattles are maybe a little bit heavier inside this one than this one. This one might have more. This one a little bit few, fewer, but has thicker rattles in it. And you can even make your rattles, these are just glazed right now, they haven't been fired. But you can make little critters. You can make your clay rattle into whatever you want. They do not have to be a sphere. But in order to make them, you're going to start out with two pinch pots. You've already made pinch pots before. You know how to make pinch pots. So you're going to make two smaller little pinch pots like you see here. We're going to take these two pinch pots and we're going to put rattles inside and then we're going to put them together. In order to do that, I'm going to take some pieces of newspaper, just some small pieces of newspaper. I'm going to take some smaller pieces of clay and however many rattles you want inside your clay rattle is completely up to you. But you take and make a little ball of clay like you see here. You put it inside a piece of newspaper and just kind of wrap it around there. The reason we do that is we don't want it to stick to the side of the, the little clay pinch pot. We're going to do that three times. We're just going to have three little rattles in this one. You could have a bunch of different rattles. You could have smaller rattles. You could have larger rattles. You could have one big rattle. You could have you know 15 smaller little rattles it doesn't really matter it depends on what size you want and what you want yours to sound like the rattles don't have to be perfectly spherical you can just do that and then you put them inside the newspaper so we're going to put those in there like that and we're going to take another piece of newspaper and we're going to crumple that up and we're going to put that on the other side maybe put a little bit more newspaper on this side with the rattles just because of it not taking up the full space and put that there. The reason I put the newspaper in there is to act as a support on the inside of the clay pot so that when I put them together and I start blending this all together and pushing on the sides that it doesn't collapse on me and create indentations in places that I don't want on my clay rattle. So I put the newspaper in there to act as a support so that the outside isn't going to bend on me. Whenever you, I attach two pieces of clay together, I always want to score and slip. So you're going to take your needle tool. You can take either just a straight needle tool like this and scratch up the surface. Make sure you're always scoring and slipping when attaching two pieces of clay together. And you want to really rough up the surface. A mistake I see people make sometimes when they're scoring is they make nice, neat little lines. You don't want that. You want to really scrape up the surface and rough it up. So make sure that you're, when you score, you're scoring and roughing up the surface really well. You do that on both sides. This acts like a piece of Velcro then. You're going to glue that together. I've got my two pieces roughed up. Add a little bit of slip. I just dab this on here. I don't want to rub it on the surface. That would mess up my score line. So I'm just going to dab it on the surface. Do that to the other piece. Now I take my two pieces and I put them together. I press them together like this. And then I'm going to blend along that seam and smooth out that seam. You could even use a tool if you want to help you blend. And then take your thumb, your finger, continue to blend across that surface to smooth it out. You could even take a little bit of moisture and use that. Dip your finger in some water or a little bit of slip and rub it across the surface to blend that entire seam. Once the whole thing is put together and smoothed out the way that you want it, then you can decide what you're going to do for creating some sort of surface texture. Change the shape if you want. It does not have to be this shape. It can be whatever shape you want it to be. If you have a larger seam, then you can continue to blend across that seam so that you end up with something you know, that is the size and shape that you want. Carve into the surface, making 
whatever patterns you want. So you could carve into the surface and create your patterns and do all kinds of unique and interesting things. Someplace on your clay rattle, you're going to need to have a vent hole put inside it so that the newspaper inside that is burning up, the gas that is created has a place to escape. Otherwise, your clay rattle will blow up in the kill. So someplace on there you need to take, and it can be as small as a needle tool like this, and you can create a hole for the gas to escape. If you want, you can make your hole a little bit larger. For example, on this one here, the hole is about that large. You simply want to make sure that the hole is not so large that the rattles are going to fall out. So as long as the you have some sort of a, a hole that goes to, to the inside, then the gas can escape and your rattle will not blow up. And that's how you create a clay rattle. You put the two pinch pots together and now you can carve into it and design it and make it whatever you want.